But I think most people would agree that they don't want to be harassed online and they just want to have fun. I know a lot of time females especially, they won't use their voice chat features online because they feel like they're going to be harassed. I think we've all run into this while playing online at certain times, especially when you talk about like Call of Duty or Battlefield or any other first person shooter that gets real competitive. And that is somebody who is on their mic or on the chat and they're just going nuts and they are just going off. They are going crazy. They're saying things like and you just go whoa man that was way too far like what the heck happened like why are you even playing this game if you're just gonna get so angry about it and don't get me wrong i have felt the rage too especially with games like super smash brothers or games like battlefield because if you're not a very good fighter in those games you're gonna get stomped if you're not a very good shooter in those games you're gonna get killed multiple times i know that that's gonna happen going into these games so i prefer to play more of support characters because i know that i can still help the team and still have an enjoyable experience and xbox is doing something about all this toxic stuff that you run into online and that is the new xbox voice reporting feature this was released on xbox wire a week or so ago and the short version is that you can capture somebody's audio and gameplay and any text that they're actually typing while you're playing your game online it'll save to your console and then you can actually report it to microsoft later on now there are a few restrictions on this this is only going to be good on on your Xbox consoles. This will work on your Series S or your Series X or your Xbox One. But this will work on backwards compatible Xbox 360 games. And this isn't gonna be only for first person shooters. This is gonna be for thousands of games that have any type of online interaction. So think of things like Grounded or Minecraft or Halo. And I would bet any type of game that's gonna have an online voice chat feature that you can hear other people speaking through their audio. Microsoft says thousands of games and I would expect this to be good for every single game that has any type of voice audio that will go over your game. This is not widely available to everybody yet. This is for Alpha and Alpha Skip Ahead Xbox Insiders. Hey, if you guys like these videos and you find them informative and helpful, take a second and consider hitting that little subscribe button down there. It really does help out the channel and spread the word. And this is going to focus on voice chat. So this is going to be for things that people are actually saying that are actually coming through your speakers. This reporting is only intended if you believe that whatever this person is saying or typing out will actually violate the community standards for Microsoft or their online gaming. This is not meant to be something that you report because your feelings got hurt because somebody said, hey, you missed me when you shot. I think every game has an acceptable level of trash talking, and we really shouldn't be so sensitive because we know some of those things are just kind of in the competitive nature of these games. But nobody should be harassed online. Nobody should feel like they want to quit a game after they've gotten done playing it. Of course, you're asking now, how the heck does this thing even work? And the short version is like when you say to your Xbox, capture that. Microsoft says it's designed to be quick and easy with minimal impact to your gameplay. Players have full control and you can choose what to actually capture and report. You can capture up to the last 60 seconds of gameplay that occurred. The clip that you saved stays on your console for 24 hours, which means that you have 24 hours to actually report it. And then once it's submitted, you'll receive updates on anything that Microsoft decides. And now I know your next thought is, well, what if somebody takes these recordings and they spread them all over online and they make me seem like I'm crazy? Well, number one, we shouldn't be talking all this crazy nonsense online. And if you actually do get recorded, whether it's justified or not, you actually don't have anything to worry about because Microsoft says that these clips that get recorded can actually not be accessed. It says they won't appear in your recent captures. Clips cannot be downloaded, modified, or shared. The user only has access to the clip until it's reported to Microsoft and then Xbox is not actually saving any of these clips unless you actually do the reporting process so if you don't do this reporting process like I said after 24 hours they will automatically delete so on some level your Xbox is actually always recording everything that actually runs through the system and it actually has to do that in order to actually capture things like your game footage or for this reporting feature it always has to be recording somewhat to capture what it just happened and I think 
think this may lead some people to paranoia of Xbox, Microsoft is actually spying on us. Well, actually, the answer is no, because it's actually your neighbors that are spying on you. Oh, yeah, and don't forget that phone that you have in your pocket where Google spies on you and iPhone spies on you. So this is kind of nothing new in our world. Microsoft is just letting the players report their interactions online so that everybody can stay safer and have a more enjoyable experience. Honestly, I think the only bad thing about this is going to be poor Jimmy who works in the Xbox basement who's going to have to review all of these clips because this guy is going to get some crazy stuff. I'm sure he's going to get a ton of stuff that's going to make his hair stand on end, things he's never even heard before. And then on the other hand, I'm sure he's going to get all sorts of reports that didn't need to be reported and somebody was just goofing off and things that actually don't violate the community standards. I've personally never been removed from a game for acting inappropriately and I can see how a lot of people will think that this is pushing too far into their actual gaming online experience, but I think most people would agree that they don't want to be harassed online and they just want to have fun. I know a lot of time females especially, they won't use their voice chat features online because they feel like they're going to be harassed. Overall, this is a step forward. This is going to help people stay in line when they're online. It's going to help weed out all the toxicity and all that trash that people don't want to experience when they're playing online. I, for one, am happy to see this feature come to Xbox. Well, thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Give me some comments. Let me know what you think about this Microsoft spying. And you may notice that I have a new thing sitting on my shelf right back here. And that is something that I'm going to show off in the next video.